I all, uh, today I'm going to explain uh, how to uh, how uh, this entry table lock entry will happen in SAP when you are practicing in SAP IDES in a practice server or training server how the entry will get locked on in the table level and how we can uh, delete this or how we can uh, remove that uh, table which is locked with through which transaction everything I'm going to explain example this is a server which i am using for uh, uh, practice purpose for ida software where i can configure and i can learn whatever changes need to be done i can test it just for learning purpose so let me log in here okay i have uh, example i have now uh, two user ids one is like user 74 user is there another is user 75 Example, I'm logging with the user 75 with the server. Okay, so I'll go. I'll go with this user ID and log in. And now uh, in this server, in this user ID, login ID, I just imagine I'm a consultant. I'm going to change some enterprise structure. Means I'm going to uh, add some plant, new plant I want to add in the Enterprise structure, the requirement. I'm going to define logic general. Then I'm adding here as a new plant. Example, I'm adding here in the user 74. I'm adding, I'm trying to create new plant. I'm just working here. So meantime, another user will log in with the other user ID, user 73. Sorry. Okay. So I'll log in here. Okay, uh, let me go through SPR screen here. Then in the customizing part, let me try to uh, define plant in uh, user 73, uh, in the user 73 login. So when I'm uh, using this, right? So how the system will behave? That I will show you. Define, check if I'm trying to, change here, right? Define plan. The system will show. This is logged by user 74, right? You can able to see that here, right? This is the part. So you can see here, user 74 is got logged. See, this is the ID I'm using here, which ID? I can show you here in this option in SPR or let me close this and show here this is user 73 okay another SAP screen I have uh, I'm using here this is user 74 so if 74 is using that uh, uh, changing option in SPRO definitely 73 user ID guy will uh, the person will get logged right so he uh, he or she cannot able to change that uh, data which is same table it's at same table right so this is going to save under uh, plant level data, right? So that's the reason it's getting locked. This is the one thing you have to understand. If someone, so if it is locked by some user, you have to wait for some time or sometime what happens, uh, even after doing the changes, there will be a table lock entry will be there. So how to handle that? So that you should go to T code called SM12. This is majorly basis team work that they will remove the table lock entry and all. But in a server, uh, which is practice server, IDAS ERP, so you cannot be able to uh, do that. So if you are using that system, you are the only owner to do all that, then go to SM12. Here you just enter only client. Don't enter user 73. Why you should not require user 73 ID? If you enter only the lock entry happened with this user ID will show. I want to see all the lock entry happened with other user also, users also. Just click on list and you can see you now user 51 is like uh, using some RS table, table name and T001, it's a lock, it got locked, right? So it, this T001 is a table which is enterprise structure definition part only. So if that is locking, then you cannot do any changes on that table, uh, SPRO configuration. So you have to select all and delete it. Once you delete, that all the locks got cleared. Okay, now you can uh, go for any uh, 
transactions configurations everything whatever you want to do in the back end see only this problem will come under spro because we are doing some changes in the table level and all uh, will update based on our uh, configuration right this problem will not come under any transaction example if you are handling any me21 and so that is user specific like for each login and uh, you can do the changes transactions it will not example if i'm running this transaction then other user also can run the same transaction but same po uh, uh, two users cannot change one user is changing the uh, po other user cannot change that po example i'll show that example here i'm going to i'm uh, trying to change this po okay uh, here this is the user 73 let me log in for 74 74 i am going to log in here okay i am trying to uh, create now PO, uh, change view with the same view i am going to try to change i'll copy here from here i'll just copy here and i'll go to in the screen i'll just change this so here see user 73 already processing purchase order so you cannot two users cannot ch uh, change same po on, on the single time okay this is a uh, just learning for you if you're working on any uh, uh, same po with the two users are using same uh, uh, PO, then it's a difficult uh, like it's not allowed to uh, do that so you can see here user 73 already processing purchase order so this kind of basic understanding you should have okay we should have so when we are doing any practice or learning so one server is distributed to multiple users and uh, then that time if you trying to change some PO, uh, the other person other user is using we cannot do that okay thanks for watching and if any uh, improvement required or any if you like this uh, session then you can share to your friends or colleagues or connections and you can comment whatever you feel about this video. Thanks for watching.